YouTube, what is up with y'all today? This is Neil Goodfella. Goodfella Neil coming through with another sneaker review, another sneaker opinion. For straight live from the sneaker cave. I'm trying to get used to saying that now, man. You know, the sneaker cave. Because that's what this is. My man cave turned into a sneaker cave. So, yeah. I need to start saying that a little bit more often, though, guys. You know, not ashamed of the sneaker cave. It is what it is. So, anyway. So, this is the sneaker I got here. This is the Waffle Racer. And now, I just, now I'm thinking about it because this shirt literally is like blending in with it. Like if you look at it on camera. But yeah. I won't really too much know to play back. But anyway. I'm going to have like the B-roll and all that stuff. So don't really too much worry about me guys. As far as like this blending in and all that. And blah blah blah. Um, now I actually got these from Mr. Porter. Mr. Porter definitely combed the sales rack. Guys this is definitely worth it. Um. And when you do get a Mr. Porter package, he definitely puts Mr. P wrapped in like a black ribbon. You can say that later for a stripper. You know, have her put that on. One of them IG thoughts. Make them do something useful with themselves. So the color on here is green, nebula, and armorillo. Armorillo was one was that yellow that we seen on the Air Max 95. I'm gonna lightweight review those for you guys again. Because I did it with like a mashed up clothing haul. I did get a time stamp and stuff. But I want to just, you know, my new camera just got got me giving like new energy and stuff, man. I might just start doing remastered reviews or something. That focus be so crisp. Goodness. Now, the good thing about these sneakers, I'm going to be able to give you a hell of a review now, guys. Because um, I actually wore these already. And the comfort the comfort on here is is definitely great. Um, but first thing first, if you are a wide footer, just disregard this sneaker completely because your foot will feel like a hamburger in this or look like a hamburger in this. The narrowness of the narrow, the narrowness of this sneaker is so narrow, like, like, like converse narrow, uh, shell toe narrowness. Like this one of old sneakers from like the seventies, like. If I'm not mistaken, this is one of them old sneakers from the 70s. Like, and, and I know Sakai tricked this one out and made it hooked all up. Those do look okay. I'm just not the biggest fan of that big thing on the back. But I end up seeing these go for like 30, 30 bucks on Mr. Porter. And this is, was a colorway that really stuck out to me. Before I even went on Mr. Porter website um, and combed the sales rack, um, I actually seen these on Nike for like 60, 50 to 60 bucks. Which was so-so as far as price go. Um, I don't know what the regular retail is because they ripped the sticker off the side. But, um, yeah, so I actually ended up getting these for like 30 bucks, man. 30 ship, $30 and some change or something like that. So I didn't even spend not even 40 bucks on this to get it like sent here to my home. Yes, even during quarantine time and all that stuff. Now, it did, I will say that though, it, it took hell of a long time, but I forgot that I ordered it and it felt like a surprise once I got it. So you can just imagine what the little black thong lace thing they gave me for the Mr. P. Yeah, that came on it, so I was definitely excited. But most more than anything, I just want to, more than anything, I just want to try the sneaker out, try it on. Now I'm not going to hold you guys for a long time or whatever, I'm going to try to kind of make this quick. I don't know if they already have reviews of this yet on uh youtube but here go mine and y'all know what i do and we're just gonna do it like that then you know let's get off into this review of this sneaker <laughs>
first thing first, you do got more of a nylon mesh, a mesh like panel with the green, like a nylon kind of like mesh. You also got more of like of a mesh going up along the tongue and that all white. One of the accents that I do like is that they actually got the orange at the top of the Nike as well and the tongue, definitely crisp. Going to the back, nothing really too special. My Nike sign is actually wearing out on the inside. I'm gonna try to see if I can get some B-roll of it before, or at least show you guys before it wears out because I've actually worn this sneaker for a little while now, a few days actually, so I can give you guys a better review. Don't worry about it guys, I'll show you. But you do got like an ocean blue kind of like colorway um, on the insole. The sneaker is very thin and very lightweight. It's not a hefty or bulky sneaker. This is more like a minimalist like sneaker built for like speed as far as like running go. I'm not really a runner, I'm a casual walker, but when I do pick up a nice jog up in this sneaker, it's definitely nice and lightweight on feet. Inside to the sock liner, you don't have any cushions or anything. It's just basically just a flat, flat, very flat mesh. Going to the back, you do got the Nike in leather. You got the Nike on the leather with that vinyl like screen print. You do got suede going along the laces. You got suede also going along the toe cap as well. Around the edges, you do have those dangerous waffle like spikes. I can see where Virgil Abloh definitely picked up with his whole off-white spin-off as far as like making the spikes like very like I don't know dangerous or cleat like but the spikes on here or the, or the, the grooves or the waffle is just so thick that it does actually feel like spikes going to the bottom of the sole you do have a griddle like sole similar to a waffle iron definitely for sure I think that was Bill Bowerman when he first started doing this he started making his Nike sneakers definitely uh, from the waffle iron. That's what I think of completely when I see this sneaker. And I think it might have been this sneaker if I'm not mistaken. The grip one here is definitely there compared to other sneakers. You could definitely feel it. I want to say this. This is about as light as the Ghost Speed Racer joints that I got. If you don't, if you know what those are then you can kind of like get a gist. This sneaker is pretty light. You don't have any Air Max bubbles in it. I don't know what this material is. I don't know if it's EVA, this white part or something like that, but it does kind of somewhat feel like that Cortez material. If you ever had a pair of Nike Cortezes, like that rubbery foam kind of like material. I definitely do like the swoosh pronounced symbolism with the brand and everything this colorway definitely spoke a lot to me because lime green and yellow just felt real tropical I feel like I was about to like run with you saying both with these joints on maybe it's kind of like somewhat of the Jamaica vibes too with that lust lustrous green and that yellow you know what I mean that tropical Brazil isk you know where it's hot at those are the kind of vibes I get from this. This looks like something that you were running like around the equator with. Going to the back, you do have a small suede new buck paneling right here. Now this is not the most softest new buck ever, but it'll do. The leather on the yellow is not really like super plush, but you can tell it's definitely a synthetic. It doesn't have any ripples in it. Just a plain GR leather piece. I went a whole size down to a size nine because on on the uh, on the pictures I actually seen that this was a narrow sneaker. So I went down to a size nine. I got a slim to slim to a slim to normal size foot. Usually I go to a nine and a half, but I'm happy I actually did go to a size nine. I go on a whole um, foot again. I don't too much know if a wide footer can pull this off. You might have some problems with this, but I would say. Uh, try one if you can. Um, if you a slim footer, normal to size footer, uh, you should be able to work with these very well. It'll just basically be as far as like slimming down size, almost kind of like the Converse All Star. You know how you how you have to like slim slim down a little bit with the All Star. So that's how this one would be. 
in a way. Um, again, like the thing I like about this sneaker is the lightweightedness of this. But as far as like the comfort, um, the lightweightness of the upper, uh, does it really feel like you're walking on a waffle? You can feel the difference if you're used to walking on air bubbles all day or ultra boost or even really. It kind of superseded my expectations as far as like comfort go. So out of 10, 10 being ultra boost, react, something like that, something a little bit more pillow like or 990 V5 style, 990 V4 style as far as like comfort. It's not like that. I would say these are roughly about like a 6.5 to a 7 as far as comfort goes. And then that separate stuff. This colorway, everything. Colorway, model, all wrapped into one. This sneaker that I'm holding my hand, out of 10, I'll give it a solid 7. Rate, comment, and subscribe. This nail, good fella, good fella, nail coming through with the sneaker cave, another sneaker opinion. I'm out.